the scraping part comes into play. If you take a look behind me, you can see that I've actually scraped through to reveal some of the background color. And that's what I'll be doing on this painting as well. So, but you have to do it when it's still wet. I've taken foam core. You can use, of course, palette knife that we're going to be using for part of this. But in addition to it, for some of the really long areas, and I'm going to start off with that, you can use any cardboard around the house, mat board, scraps, if you're an artist that you might have chosen in the past. Um, I love foam core because it's really rigid. And so what I'm going to do is bring this down. And you can see that reveals the background color. It can create the illusions of tall windows coming into play. You can always use the side of this. Let's assume that we want to show the different levels of the building. Always want to introduce some lone vertical elements. This, for example, because Raleigh's always under construction, I'm going to let this be a giant crane coming into play there. So you can see by scraping and by using your palette knife that you can integrate all these colors. The palette knife with a lot of pressure will really reveal a lot of that background color as well. I'm using the side of the palette knife as a stamp to bring in some of this magenta elsewhere into the composition. It's important when you're doing these skyscapes to really think about the use of negative space. Negative space is that area back behind the main object. So you can see when I follow the movement of the negative space, it's going to undulate. It's going down, around the building, up, over, down, around, down. And that just creates more visual interest.